What's up YouTube, how are you doing? As you might have heard, the new Road Central app for Android and iOS has been released and it's about one or two months. I know I'm a little bit late, but today in this video, we are going to take a look at the features we get inside this app. And also I will show you how to install and troubleshoot. And I will show you some of the problems which I faced during the setup of this Road Wireless Go 2 with this app. Uh, you have to go through some of the firmware update things and some problems which I faced which the uh, internal storage of the Rode Wireless Go did not load in my PC. So we are going to show how I, so how I solved those problems and also at the end of the video I will show you a bonus tip in order to use your Rode Wireless Go 2 without SC16 cable in order to connect it to your Android phone or, and use it in for example Instagram or any other app without needing to buy the SC16 cable which is really awesome. So please uh, stick to the end and let's watch the intro and then uh, start the video. So even if you are on the latest firmware of the Rode Wireless Go 2 and you connect it to your Android or iOS smartphone and open the Rode Central app, you will only see a white screen which says the please connect to Rode device. And I did some research I, and I found that, that you need to uh, install the latest version of Rode Central app for Windows or Mac and then you can update the Rode Wireless Go 2 to a newer version. I was using the older version of Rode Central app for Windows because it doesn't do an auto update of the app uh, in the Windows app and so I uh, went to the Rode's website and downloaded the latest version of the Windows app which, which was 1.2.4 and then when I connected my Rode Wireless Go 2 to the PC I saw a message which said uh, the firmware update is here and I did a firmware update. I did the firmware update for all the two transmitters and one receiver. And then after that, when I connected uh, to my phone, I saw that it loads the uh, receivers and transmitters, which I'm going to show you now. But before I start to walk through the app, let me tell you about a big problem which I faced with my Rode Wireless Go 2 after updating to the latest firmware with the latest version of the Rode Central app in the Windows. After I uh, installed the latest version of the Rode Central app in the Windows and connected my Rode wireless uh, transmitters to, my, uh, to the Windows PC, I saw that the internal storage of the Rode wireless go to transmitter is not loading. And I did whatever I thought I could do. I did a factory reset. I just formatted the inter internal storage. It just, uh, I just saw that it shows it is out of a space and all of my recordings were not showing. It just loaded as a drive in my uh, PC and it did not load in the Rode uh, Central app in the Windows. So I did some research and suddenly uh, I found a post in a Facebook group which said that the latest version of the Rode Central app for Windows which is 1.24 is buggy and uh, you'd better install the uh, version 1.2.1 and if you install this, your internal storage problem would be fixed. And I did this and fortunately my problem was solved. I was having a headache solving the problem. I tried so many different cables, but the problem, as I said, was from the uh, Rode Central app for Windows, which was buggy on the 1.24, 1.2.4 version. And I installed the 1.2.1 and my problems were solved. I will also place a link of the 1.2.1 version in the description so you can download it if you face any problem. Now let's jump into the app and I will show you what features we get inside this Rode Central app for Android. In order to connect your Rode Wireless Go 2 to your phone, you need a cable USB to USB-C which is provided in the box of the Rode Wireless Go 2. You have three of them. And also you need a USB OTG which you need to buy separately. I had this in my home and uh, you connect just uh, the USB cable to the USB OTG and you connect the USB OTG to your phone. And then you connect it to the Rode Wireless Go to transmitter and you will see that uh, in my phone, I need to enable the USB OTG. It's a OnePlus phone. You go to the system, you enable the OTG storage. And after that, you will see that it will blink, start blinking and you will receive a message here 
Open Road Central Mobile to Handle Wireless Go 2 Transmitter. You press OK. And again, once again, and you will see that it is loaded in the smartphone and you have some options here. You have the option to change the record, internal recording. You can set it on always or backup or off like the app in the, like the Road Central app in the Windows. You have the option for PAT, which decreases the sensitivity of the microphone. You can enable or disable this. You can change the brightness of the LEDs, dim or bright. And you can change the function of the button, which is marker or mute or none. And you can also change the broadcast quality to put it on compressed or uncompressed. Uh, when it is on always, you cannot change it, but when it is on backup, you can change it. And this is all the things you get here. And you can also check the clock and firmware version of the transmitter. Nothing else. I hope in the future they give us the option to export the recorded files, which would be really awesome. And now let me disconnect the transmitter and check uh, what we get uh, with the receiver. Now let me dis disconnect this. And now I connect the transmitter. As you see here, I connect it. Again, we receive a message here. I press OK. And as you see, the uh, transmitter is loaded. Uh, we have both of them. I don't know why here. Both the transmitter, <laughs> just uh, it's, it's might, it might be a bug. But uh, we have the uh, receiver at the top. We have the backlight option here. We can turn it on and off. We have the gain. We can put it on fine or coarse. And you can change the gain. But this is possible with the receiver itself. You do not need your phone. You can change it from merged to a split. Again, I think this is possible with the receiver itself. And I can change the function of the button to put it on backlight or marker. And you can also change the safety channel feature to turn it on or off. And this was all the things you get with the Road Central app on your phone. I hope they update this app in the future to give it some more features so uh, people can use their phone to export their audios and much more. Now it's time for the bonus tip as I promised. Uh, as I said, you do not need the SC16 cable if you are using the OTG and connect your uh, Rode Wireless Go receiver to your phone with the uh, USB-A to USB-C cable which is pro provided in the box of the Rode Wireless Go 2. I will show you now. If I open the Filmic Pro app and we go inside this app, you will see that we are getting the voice and go to the audio. You will see we have two options, camera microphone or USB microphone. We are getting the audio from the receiver, which is going through the transmitter to the uh, receiver and then goes to your phone, which is awesome. You do not need to buy the SC16 cable. You can save some money. And now we have the audio from the road here. You can also use it in Instagram as stories. I have tested and it works flawlessly. I don't know if I, I can show you here while uh, uh, recording, uh, ge while getting a screen record of my phone, but you will get uh, the option to use your Rode Wireless Go 2 with Instagram stories, which is awesome. I have tested this and it works flawlessly and uh, nothing more. And I really hope uh, this video was useful for you. And if you have any problems, please feel free to ask them in the comment sections. If I can help you, I would be really pleased to do this. And thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in my next videos.